All right, well, I'm in the van with uh, Jeremy Camp. We're just leaving across the Boys Ranch, and it was really awesome. It was really a highlight to see you out with those boys. Thanks for going. Well, that was that was amazing. How come you're doing stuff like that? I mean, you know, you're not the typical artist that just blows into town and does a show. You really wanted to make an impact and tell your testimony. Well, I, think, I mean, this is something that we're just now starting because I think I realized that every day we have an opportunity to, to reach out and make a, a greater impact than just coming in and doing a show. And I think that God really laid out my heart and, uh, just how can we help out in different communities when we go in. And I think that for me, I love sharing my testimony. I sure. love sharing what God's done in my life and sharing the word to people. And so going to these boys, um, this boys ranch and sharing that is huge, right. you know what I mean? So anyway. Yeah, yeah and it sounds like you're really connected with them. It sounds like you kind of had some some rebellious years that he, people might look at you and say, you know, Jeremy, he's he's been following and walking with the Lord straight since the day he was born. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's definitely not the case. Okay. God's been gracious to me, and I think that that, being able to share that with, with um, the boys and then share just even my testimony too of just loss, and I'm sure, you know, they've experienced loss as well, I think is a... Uh, it's a huge icebreaker as well because sure. it's like, listen, I'm just like you guys, yeah. you know, but it takes that surrender, you know, and the Lord. And that's when things start just kind of, you know, and, and things, even when I was walking with the Lord, you know, losing my wife and everything was not because I was walking with him, everything was perfect. It's like, but I was able to have someone by my side, you know, it's Jesus Christ, you know, through those times. So that's why I think it's just sharing that is, is huge. Very so. cool. Tell me about your two daughters. What is it like being a dad? Um, it's the most amazing, rewarding, tiring. <laughs> Every dynamic you can think of is what it is, but uh, it's changed my life dramatically. I mean, I think you really realize, for one, how selfish you can be and how, uh, you know, how you really have to deny yourself as being a parent to just pour into your children and love them and instruct them. I love them so much. I mean, it's just my heart. I think I've just softened, you know, since being a parent and, and realizing the heart of God, you know, towards me as a father, too. I think it's kind of opened my eyes, you know, being a father. And so it's changed my life, and I would not have it any other way. I told Adrian, my wife, I said, what was it like when we didn't have kids? Which we didn't really know much life without kids because we, you know, we had a, a baby a year, you know, after we were married. So it was like, we had a baby right away. So it was like, it's all we know, but sure. still, I was like, what was my life like without sure. kids? Yeah. Cause my kids are like, so I, it's amazing. It's all right. My last question here. Now I just recently found out that, you know, Tom Jones has his chest hair insured. Mary Hart has her legs insured. I want to know about this. Yeah, this definitely Is has insured? been insured cause I've had it for, <laughs> I don't know how many years I've had this thing, but does That's Tom like Jones really have his, his, yeah, his, he really does. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, you don't see a lot of, I think, to, does Toby have one of these too? Does he? Sure, I think so. Yeah. That's probably I think a trademark thing though. It is. Yeah. People yeah. always like, yeah. are you ever going to shave that? I'm like, yeah. no, probably not. People know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Thank it you. It means so much to be here. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure.